Hello friends, welcome to this investment banking tutorial from Wall Street Mojo. Investment banks also enable market making activities in the stock exchange in addition to providing underwriting services. So what is market making and why investment banks actually play a very important role here? Market makers is someone who actually ensures liquidity in the market. Just to give you a very basic example here, let's say there is a stock called ABC and there is an investment banker who is a market maker for this stock ABC. When there are trades that happen in the market, the role of market maker is essentially to provide liquidity to these stocks. And this could be done either by buying the shares or selling the shares. So let's assume that there's a buy side who is an investor who wants to buy, let's say, 1000 shares of ABC, but his price is $1.50. Okay. Again, Let's assume that there's a seller in the market who wants to sell this share of ABC, but he wants to sell it at, let's say $100. And he wants to do that for 1000 shares. So now, if we look at the difference between 50 and $100, that is the buying price and the selling price, that is too huge. So, you know, the transaction may never get completed at all. Well, in such an instance, what happens is that there may be hardly any buyers and hardly any sellers of this stock. So here the role of market maker is to pitch in between and offer some lucrative price to the buyer or the seller and keep those shares for some time and then maybe trade them later for profit. Now, how do they do that? Let's assume that uh, this is one of the cases, this investment bank who is a market maker actually offers to buy this shares at let's say $1.75. So we have a seller here ready to sell at $100. And then we have a buyer who is ready to buy at $1.50. But the investment bank who is a market maker has given a quote of $1.75. So at this point, there might be some sellers who might want to actually sell this stock at $1.75. Now in this case, they may match the requirements and the investment bank who is the market maker will end up actually owning the share. So in this case, market makers has enabled the transaction of the security by providing liquidity in the market. So investment banks remain in between the buyers and the sellers and it kind of creates the market. And on the other side, as it owns the stock, it can also look at selling the stock. So let's say this investment bank that now owns 1000 shares can sell that at $80. So instead of $100, they can try to sell at $80. And in fact, they may find some buyers as well. In short, what investment banks are doing incrementally is that since here the bid and the ask spread was too high, as a market maker, they came in between and lowered the bid ask spread and ensured that there was some liquidity in the market. Obviously, this example was a bit exaggerated, but the bid ask spread can actually be very small, maybe a couple of cents. This way, market makers have really proven very efficient and have been helping in the smooth running of the financial markets. Now that you have pretty much understood much of the two jargons, underwriting and market making, let's move further and explore the role of investment banking in mergers and acquisitions in our next video of our investment banking series. conclude today's discussion, a big thank you to everyone who tuned in from the Wall Street Mojo team. But hold on, the financial adventure continues. The next episode unfolds on Tuesday and we're super excited about what's in store. Make sure to subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out on the financial insights coming your way. Until next time, this is the Wall Street Mojo team signing off. Stay informed, stay engaged, and stay Wall Street Mojo awesome.